Hi everybody, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday and this week I'm going to be showing you how to make a carrot. And for this carrot we're going to be using some DK light worsted weight yarn, that's a yarn weight of three. And I've chosen uh, an orange and a green and this time I'm actually going to have to use a slightly more vibrant orange because uh, I ran out of this orange shade here. I actually prefer using a slightly more pastel uh, faded orange and green for vegetables to make it look a bit more realistic. But for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to be using this slightly more in your face orange here, a bit more neon. Um, we're going to be using a 3.5mm millimeter, millimeter E crochet hook and you're also going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle as well. You're also going to need some toy stuffing or some stuffing of some kind here and you can either use, you can either buy toy stuffing um, from local craft stores or online or you can use yarn scraps as well, lots of little bits of yarn that works really well or um, like I've used here, this is just the inside of a polyester pillow. So I've just used an old pillow and taken out the uh, polyester fitting and I'm going to be using that. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so to begin we're going to start off with the green to begin. And the first thing to do is you can either do six single crochet in a magic circle, if you like using the magic circle magic ring technique, or we're going to do the chaining method. So do a little slip knot first and chain four to begin. One, two, three, and four. Chain four. And find your first chain that you did there and put your hook into that first chain. Bring the yarn through that chain and straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. And now your little chains are joined at beginning and the end and they form a little loop and in the middle of that loop is a hole, a centre hole obviously, there you can just about see it there. Don't confuse it with your chain one, make sure you find that centre hole and into that centre hole we are going to do six single crochet. So I'm going to put my hook into that centre hole, bring the yarn through and do a single crochet. And this is in US terminology. So we need six of these. So that's one, two, go back into that center. We're just wrapping them around the chains, doesn't matter how many chains you got now. Three. I'm also working the tail end in as well. Four. So just holding the tail end on by the chains. Back into that center. Five. And the last one. Six. Okay, so you should have six single crochet worked into that four chain loop. And we're just going to pull the tail end, which brings in the hole slightly. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet that we did. So check you've got six. Find that first single crochet going under both bits of yarn. Do a little slip stitch, bring the yarn through that single crochet and straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. So by the end of that round you should have six single crochet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one. So we're going to chain one but we're not going to count that as a stitch. And then what you want to do is you want to put your hook back into that same single crochet that you just slip stitched into. So put your hook back into that first single crochet and do a single crochet. Okay, and that single crochet we are going to count as a stitch. And we need to do another single crochet in there as well. So we're going to put our hook back into that same single crochet again and do another single crochet. So you end up with two single crochet in that first single crochet you just slip stitched into. So you've got two single crochet in there. And your chain one we're just going to ignore as a stitch. Okay? Then in the next stitch we're going to do two single crochet as well. So in the next stitch we do two single crochet and there's one and go back into the same stitch and do another one, two. 
and we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around until you have a stitch count of 12 we're doubling up because we're putting two stitches in each so two single crochet in the next stitch as well two in the next one two single crochet in the next stitch eight and then two single crochet in the next one nine and ten then two single crochet in the last stitch as well eleven and another one in the same stitch, 12 and it looks like there's another stitch left but that's what I call a fake stitch, that's just there to catch you out so what you want to do is just check you've got 12 single crochet now 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 and 12 so we have finished that round, you should have 12 single crochet, 2 in each uh, then what we're going to do is we are going to skip this fake stitch which is there to trick us just above there is your chain one which is probably really small I'm going to skip that as well find your first single crochet that you did and slip stitch into there but what we're going to do is put our hook in first to that first single crochet it should be quite easy to find instead of yarning over with the green we are going to just put our project down and we're going to get our very neon orange <laughs> it's nice and bright. I'm going to get our orange and I'm going to just put that over the hook instead in that direction and I'm just going to hold it at the back with my finger to keep tension and I'm going to bring that through the single crochet instead and straight through the loop on your hook as well to do a slip stitch and now you can see we're working with the orange. So there we go, just pull our tail ends to tighten and at this point you can cut your green because we've finished working with our green. Okay so moving on to the next round what we're actually going to do now instead of chaining at the beginning we are literally just going to work in the round now so we're not going to join chain at the beginning and we're not going to join slip stitch at the end of our rounds we're just going to work in like a spiral like a snail shell and the first thing to do is in the next stitch so this next one along, we're not going to chain one or anything, we're going to go straight into that next stitch and do one single crochet. Okay, we'll Do one single crochet in that next stitch. Then the next stitch we're going to do two single crochet. One and another one in the same stitch, you've got two in there, two single crochet. Okay, so you've got two in there. And then we're going to repeat that round doing one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet back to the beginning and you should end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 18. Okay, so I'll just do this one with you because it's a bit weird at the beginning just so you can see. So we repeat that pattern, next stitch one single crochet by itself, just one, next stitch two single crochet, one and two. Next stitch one single crochet, next stitch two single crochet, one and two. Next stitch one single crochet, next stitch two single crochet, one and two. In the same stitch. In there. Next stitch, just the one single crochet. Next stitch, two single crochet. One and two. Next stitch, one single crochet. And then the last stitch, which should be green, two single crochet. Okay, and if you can't see this last green stitch to put your two single crochet into it probably means you've pulled your tail ends too tight because if you pull your tail ends too tight that little last green stitch that one there will disappear because you can see if I pull this yep, wrong tail end there we go that starts to disappear so be careful you don't pull too tight 
And your last two single crochet should end in a green stitch, not orange. Okay, so two single crochet. And by the end of that round, you should have a stitch count of 18 now. We've gone up by six. You're going by the six times table. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so we've got 18 stitches. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to carry on working in a spiral still. So the next round we are going to do, not going to chain one or anything at the beginning, you're going to go straight into the next stitch, which is your first orange stitch that you did, and do one single crochet. Try and do it a bit better than that one single crochet. Then in the next stitch we're going to do one single crochet as well. Okay, so we've done one single crochet in the next two. Then in the next stitch we're going to do two single crochet. One and another one in the same stitch. Two. And you might want to use a stitch marker if you want to. I tend to just go by where it looks slightly different on the pattern to know where the end of my round is. But you might want to use a stitch marker if you prefer. So we've done one single crochet in the next two, and then two single crochet. And we're going to repeat that round, doing one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. Back to the beginning, you should end on two single crochet, and you should have a stitch count of 24. Okay, so we've gone up by six. 21 by itself, 22 by itself. Then the last one, two single crochet, 23 and 24 together. 23 and another one in the same stitch, 24. So you might want to just count up like I did then. I can see I'm back at the beginning because it looks very slightly different on the, uh, on the pattern. But you should have a stitch count of 24. Now we're going to move on to round 5. And we're going to do one more increase round to get our stitch count up to 30. Um, so we're going up by six again, and this time what we're going to do is one single crochet in the next three, then two single crochet. So we go no chain one or anything, we're going to go straight into the next stitch and do one single crochet by itself. Straight into the next stitch, do one single crochet by itself, then one single crochet by itself in the next stitch as well. So you're doing one single crochet by itself in the next three, then two single crochet one and another one in the same stitch and you should see that it lines up with your previous increases as well. So you can repeat that round doing one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, back to the beginning and you should end up with a stitch count of 30 and you should end on two single crochet again. Okay, so one single crochet in the next three Next stitch, one single crochet, one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, then two single crochet. Okay, coming up to the end, 26 by itself, 27 by itself, 28 by itself, 29 and 30 in the same stitch. 29 on the same stitch. Okay. So by the end of round five you should have a stitch count of 30 and it should look a little something like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to do five rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch round. So we're going to keep a stitch count of 30 and we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. So you're going to go straight into the next stitch and do one single crochet. We're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm not doing any increases. You want to keep a stitch count of 30. Okay, and we're going to do that for five rounds. Okay, so for five rounds. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I shall come back. 29 and 30. Okay, so I've done five rounds of just one single crochet each stitch around. Uh, so I've still got a stitch count of 30. I've basically counted to 35 times. Okay, so what we're going to do now should look something like that. We're going to move on to round 11. And for this round, we're going to do a 
decrease round this time and it's similar to to round five but what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet in the next three so we do one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch so we do one single crochet in the next three then we're going to single crochet two stitches together and to do that we're going to go into the next stitch bring the yarn through but then we're going to stop and go into the next stitch and bring the yarn through so you end up with three loops yarn over then pull through all three and that turns two stitches into one and we've got a decrease and we're just going to repeat that round doing one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet then we're going to single crochet two stitches together one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet single crochet two together and your stitch count should go down to 24 and you should end on single crocheting two stitches together so what you want to do is do one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch so one single crochet in the next three and then single crochet two together we go into the next stitch bring the yarn through stop into the next stitch bring the yarn through so you've got three loops and you've gone through two stitches yarn over pull through all three okay so I'm going to do that and then I shall come back you should have a stitch count of 24 29 and 30 crocheted together Okay, so it should look something like that. You should your stitch count should have gone down to 24. Okay, and you should have ended on single crocheting two together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do another five rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around, and we're going to keep a stitch count of 24. Okay, so you want five more rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around, so no decreases and no increases. You should have a keep a stitch count of 24. Okay, I'll do that for five rounds. So I should do that and then I shall come back. And 24. And there we go. I've done five rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around. I've still got a stitch count of 24. And I've done five rounds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it should look a little something like that. And it's probably at this point, if you want to sew on a little sort of amigurumi face, now would be a good time to sew it on so you could hide your tail ends on the inside a bit easier. But what we're going to do now is we are going to move on to round 17, I think we're on now. And round 17 is similar to round four, but we're going to decrease instead. And what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet in the next two. So we go straight into the next stitch and do one single crochet. And then we do one single crochet in the next stitch. So this time we just do one single crochet in the next two. And then we're going to single crochet two stitches together. And we go into the next stitch, pull through, stop. To the next stitch, pull through, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Single crochet two together and just repeat that round doing one single crochet one single crochet single crochet two together one single crochet one single crochet single crochet two together until your stitch count has gone down to 18 okay so one single crochet by itself in the next stitch one single crochet by itself in the next stitch and then single crochet two together A decrease. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I shall come back. 23 and 24 crocheted together. So that's why I do I count up to 24. And our stitch count has should have gone down to 18 now, so you should have a smaller stitch count. And what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to do five rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around. Those uh, that's rounds 18 to 22 and you want to keep a stitch count of 18 okay so you're going to count to 18 five times so one single crochet in each stitch around and do that for five rounds okay, so you've still got a stitch count of 18. Okay. I was just thinking actually I'll just show you um, how to use a stitch mark I'm about half way I've done, done three rounds so far so I'm going to stop there and I'm actually going to bring in a little stitch marker and this stitch marker 
is handmade by me actually. I sell handmade stitch markers on my website if you want to go check them out, such as this one. This one is actually for sale. And uh, what you do is I usually have a little clasp, keyring clasp really, on the end. And I've just got to the end of the round and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this through the actual last stitch that I did. Fiddly to do on camera. There we go. Simple as that. These are really lightweight so they don't um, don't weigh down your project or anything. And now we know if you like to use these and you don't like counting, you can just pop that on and then carry on working in the round. It's coming up to the end. 17 and 18 again. And we can see it at the end of a round because uh, we've got a little stitch marker there. There was our last stitch there, last stitch there, last stitch there. And uh, we've done what we've done. We've done five rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch around, and we've still got a stitch count of 18. And then all we need to do, if you want to, you can just take this off, undo the little clasp, and just pop it off like so. And then you can move it up if you want to. But I'm just going to take that out of the video for now. And what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to round 23 now. And this time, this is round 23, similar to round 3, but we're going to decrease. And all we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to go straight into single crocheting two stitches together. So we go into the next stitch, pull through, stop. Next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And then we're just going to repeat that round. So we do one single crochet in the next stitch, and then we go straight into single crocheting two stitches together. Then one single crochet, single crochet two together. One single crochet, single crochet two together. Should end on single crocheting two together, and you should have a stitch count gone down to 12. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then come back. So it's one single crochet in the next stitch, and then we're going to single crochet two together and then 16 by itself 17 and 18 to count up to 18 still 18 stitches I'll crochet together okay and by the end of that round your stitch count should have gone down to 12 2 4 6 8 10 11 and 12 and what we're going to do now is same thing again we're going to do five rounds of one single crochet in each stitch around and you want to keep a stitch count of 12 you want to do that for five rounds just doing one single crochet in each stitch around you might want to use a stitch marker again if you want to i'm just going to count up to 12 five times okay so i'm going to do that and then i shall come back let's come up to the end 11 I find it easier to flatten the work when it starts getting a bit fiddly. And 12. Okay, so I've done five rounds of just one single crochet in each stitch round, and that for five rounds I've still got a stitch count of 12 at the end. And what we're going to do now is actually stuff our carrot before it gets too narrow. Um, so you want to get yourself some toy stuffing or yarn scraps you might like it with and I'm going to use a pair of scissors to stuff because that makes it easier. My scissors are fairly blunt at the end so if you do have sharp scissors be a little bit careful. So what I do is I just place it on the end and then use the friction of the scissors. You can use the end of your crochet hook if you want to but I find scissors a lot easier. And just stuff your carrot. So I'm just going to stuff the carrot and then I'm going to come back and show you what to do next. Okay. Okay, so I've finished stuffing the carrot, and the great thing is it doesn't matter if it's lumpy because it just adds to the character of the carrot. Um, but you want to slightly overstuff at the end so you've got enough stuffing to fill out the uh, the end of the carrot. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the last uh, the last rounds, really, um, round 29 I think we're on now. And what we're going to do is we're just going to single crochet two stitches together. Um, for the next round to reduce our stitch count down to six. Okay, 
So what we're going to do is I tend to flatten the work to make it easier and then we're going to go into the, the next stitch straight away, bring the yarn through, stop, to the next stitch, bring the yarn through, single crochet two together. Okay, we want to probably do that, how many times do you want that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can do that six times. So one, two, then three and four, crochet together. It's a little bit fiddly and squeaky for some reason. This yarn is really squeaky. <laughs> to be a cheap acrylic. Five, six. So I'm just counting up to twelve. And seven and eight crochet together. Careful not to go into the back stitches. I'm flattening it, I want to make sure I'm not going the other side. Nine and ten. Then eleven and twelve. Okay, so you should have single crochet two stitches together. Repeat that round and your stitch count stitch count should have gone down to six. You can see there. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to do one round, just one round this time, of one single crochet in each stitch around. So we're just going to count up to six. And let's see if I can do this on camera, shall we? So count up to six. One. Flatten it down. Two. Then one single crochet in each stitch around. So you've still got a stitch count of six. And what we're going to do now is we're going to single crochet two stitches together um, until it's closed. And I mean, you might be able to do it three times if you can, um, but it might get too fiddly. And don't worry if it gets too fiddly because then what we'll do is we'll just sew the remainder close. So I'm going to give it a go. I think last time I managed to do it twice. So single crochet one and two. It's even harder when you've got a camera in front. So I am going to do three and four, then I'm going to give up, I think. I'll leave a little bit of a tail for sewing and just pull through like so. Get yourself a yarn needle, thread it on. And then just, it's still got a slight hole there, and what you want to do is go into the next stitch and out through the next stitch. And we're just going to draw string the remainder closed. And in for the next stitch and out the next, you can't really see, but just do your best you can. And then I'm going to sew sort of over and then up through the middle, like so. And you can leave um, the tail if you want to, because carrots have these little dangly bits on the end but what I'm actually going to do is that's fairly knotted on the end I'm just going to trim it down I'm not going to sew it in onto the inside because it will distort the shape at the end of the carrot so I'm literally just going to trim the end like so so there we go and then you can sort out the stuffing so it goes down to the bottom a bit more and all that's left to do now is to work on the, the green bits on the end so what you want to do now is to get your green yarn I'm going to bring in the green yarn and what we're going to do here for the uh, these bits on the end these bits here you can do as you can do them as long as you like and you can do as many as you like but I just did them about this length and I did three of them so that's what I'll show here and using no we're not using that size hook no too big Using the same size hook, 3.5 E crochet hook, put your hook in the centre, right through the middle like that, and then out through a stitch, just like that. Okay, and then we're going to drape over our 
green yarn, just hold it in place, and I'm going to bring that, keeping it tight so it goes under, I'm going to bring that under and out through the middle centre there. And I'm going to secure that with a chain one, okay, I'm not going to count that chain one as a stitch, so I'm going to pull it nice and tight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain 11. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so I've chained eleven. And then what I'm going to do is a slip stitch in the second stitch from hook. And our second stitch from hook, we don't count the loop on our hook. There's our first stitch, there's our second. Putting a hook, hook into our second, we do a little slip stitch straight through the chain and straight for the loop. And I'm going to slip stitch in each chain down back to the base. So we should have 10 all in all if we don't count that first chain one that we used to secure it. Three. Like I said, if you want these longer, you can just chain, just chain more. Six. Last one ten. There is another one there, and that's. I mean, you can single crochet into that one if you want to. It's just the one we did to secure. I'm going to pull that nice and tight, like so, so it disappears. So we've got ten down there. Then we do the same thing again. We put our hook in the centre of that hole, then out through another stitch, like so. Do the same thing again. Yarn over. Bring the yarn underneath. We're going to secure it with a slip stitch this time. It's just slip stitch, pull nice and tight. Then do the same thing, we're going to chain 11 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we'll slip stitch in our second stitch from hook. Don't count the loop on the hook. Hook, there's first, there's a second. And then I'm going to slip stitch back down to base. And then I'll slip stitch. And then I'm back at the base again. And we just do the same thing again. We go in through the middle. And then I'll come out this side through that stitch. Bring the yarn underneath and out for the middle. Do a little slip stitch to secure, three fiddly, pull nice and tight, and then chain 11 again. And just repeat this until you're happy with as many as you want of these. I did three. Let's finish up this last one. Okay, let's go up to the last slip stitch at the bottom. That third little leafy thing. There we go, and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back in, out through another stitch, bring that under, and I'm going to finish by just slip stitching, like so, and then just putting that down, cut my yarn, pull the tail end through, like so, and then all you have to do is hide these tail ends on the inside, and to do that, thread on our tail end. I'm just going to sew down for the middle and then just out through the edge just to secure that into place. And then I'm going to go back in where I came out and I'm going to come out on the carrot just out through any stitch, it doesn't matter where, because the yarn, tail end yarn will get caught on the inside stuffing. Then go back in where you came out come out on the other side somewhere and you'll see that will disappear on the inside 
and then that should do let that go and just push your project down hold on to your tail end trim as close as you can and then when you let go that should disappear on the inside and just do the same for the other tail end so I'll just do that for the other tail end and I shall come back and show you the finished carrot and there we go there is our finished carrot to go with the other one and it's actually slightly smaller so this yarn must have been very slightly thinner and uh, I think all my stuff always comes out smaller when I do it on camera anyway but there we go just using a slightly thick yarn you'll get different size carrots and which adds to the uniqueness of the vegetables so that's that's quite cool um but yeah the stitch markers that i used this was the one that i used you can buy this on my my website and they have a lot a lot of different ones they're all handmade by me there's this one for example <laughs> i don't have a yarn problem i have a space problem <laughs> and we've also got some slightly bigger ones as well here if at first you don't succeed i'll pick Actually, that's the same size, isn't it? So here we go. Here are some smaller ones. Shh, can't see. <laughs> so, like I said, you can buy those on my website if you want to. And uh, also got some of these more sort of vintage style designs as well. So there we go. But I hope you enjoyed uh, that tutorial. Hope you managed to follow along and make some fun vegetables. I think I'll create a playlist um, for all my fruit and veg because I've done quite a few now. Um, I've done a mushroom, a strawberry. Um, yeah, I've done a few different fruits and veg. So I'll create a playlist and put a link in the description to where you can find that or put it over the video or something. Uh, yeah, but I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm. back to one single crochet in the next two, then two single crochet. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that, RAF. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I think the army just went past. Um, yeah, so where was I? See, I totally lost my, totally lost my train of thought.